Welcome to the world of Android. In this video, I will explain what Android is and what makes it so compelling to both developers and device manufacturers. So what is Android? Android is a mobile operating system that is based on a modified version of Linux. Android was also originally developed by Android Incorporated. As part of Google's strategy to enter the mobile space, Google purchased Android in 2005. Google wanted the Android operating system to be open and free, so most of the Android code was released under the open source Apache license. This allowed manufacturers to use Android OS as the OS of their own phones and add their own extensions to Android and customize it according to their own needs. You can see from this graph of data in November 2016 that Android has a very big market share and thus very compelling for developers in the mobile section. The main advantage to adopting Android is that it offers a unified approach to application development. Developers only develop for Android in general and their application should be able to run on numerous different devices running the Android operating system. Since its first release, Android has gone through quite a number of updates. Android uses letters of the alphabet and something sweet to eat to give names to their versions, the newest version currently being Android 7 or Nougat. For Android, there is no fixed hardware or software configurations. However, the base Android operating system supports features such as storage, which includes SQLite as a lightweight relational database, connectivity like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and LTE, messaging like SMS and MMS, media support such as MP3, MP4, JPEG and PNG. Hardware support like the accelerometer, the camera and the GPS. It also supports multi-touch functionality on the screen. It also supports multitasking applications. Android also supports tethering or sharing the phone's internet connection as a wireless or a wired hotspot. Android is roughly divided into five sections in four main layers. Firstly, the Linux kernel contains all the low-level device drivers for the hardware components. The libraries layer contains code for the main features of Android operating system. This would include, for example, the SQLite libraries. The Android runtime is located in the same layer with the libraries and provides a set of core libraries to enable developers to write Android apps using Java. The application framework exposes different capabilities of the Android operating system to application developers to make use of in their own apps. The application's top layer will be installed or all installed apps on the phone from the App Store or from third parties and that also includes the applications that we will write. Android devices comes in all shapes and sizes and it includes the following smartphones, tablets, e-reader services, smart televisions, cars and smartware like the smartwatch. Getting apps is very simple on Android. Users can simply use the Google Play application pre-installed on their phone to directly download applications to their devices.